Hey everyone, today's video is going to be my first video back in the new year, so I hope you guys all had a really lovely Christmas and New Year's Eve. I actually went home to my mum's for Christmas, which was so nice. I hadn't been in her flat for I think 10 or 11 months, isolated for two weeks beforehand, and it was so nice to be there and just be able to relax and not have to worry about the virus or thinking I'm spreading it to anyone. So I had a really lovely Christmas and now I'm back in my flat ready for the new year i start work again tomorrow so gonna get back into the swing of things i did a big clear out of my flat feeling good i'm feeling ready for 2021 i feel like it just can't be any worse than 2020 touch wood so i hope you guys all had a really lovely time i know it's a very different christmas and new years but i hope regardless of whatever your situation was you still managed to enjoy it today i'm back with another taste test i feel like my body is now ready after all the christmas food that i tried the last couple of months ready to try some more vegan things and it is currently veganuary so I thought this month I would try a few of the new vegan options that are out and share with you guys my thoughts so I feel like this video is going to be fairly short and there's going to be a few others similar to this this month where I just go to one place try their new vegan releases and let you guys know my thoughts so as you can tell by the title of today's video I'm going to be trying Subway which I am very very excited about I'm a big fan of Subway, but I wouldn't have had one now, I don't think for like a year or so. I definitely had one on a couple of lunch breaks, but I've obviously not been in the office now for coming up to 10 months, I think. So it has been a while and they have released a TLC, so Taste Like Chicken Sub, which sounds so up my street. I know that they already have the vegan patty and they also have the vegan meatball marinara. Both of those are okay. Normally I just go for standard salad because I'm boring with the garlic aioli that they do this vegan because I wasn't a huge fan of the patty and I feel like the meatball thing just isn't really my thing quite so much. But vegan chicken on the other hand is very much me. So I've got a foot long vegan chicken sub and I've also released some vegan chocolate cookies this month. So I've got some of those to try as well. Everyone knows that Subway cookies are the best cookies, like you can't top a Subway cookie and I wouldn't have had one now for probably like five or six years so I've definitely missed them. I've ordered a few because I'm already expecting to really enjoy them. But I'm going to unbag my order. I feel like they may have got something wrong because I can see a bottle of something in here and I definitely didn't order a bottle of something so I'm really hoping that the actual sandwich and cookies are correct because... I think I'll cry. I also ordered this to be delivered because I was being incredibly lazy. It is like really, really miserable outside today and it was hailing all morning. So the delivery fee was only £1.50. So thought I would treat myself. But yeah, I definitely didn't order this. So we will see what else is in here. I mean, to be fair, I might have just really lucked out and got some freebies. These are the vegan cookies. Oh my God, they smell so good. I was wondering why there were two boxes in here. So this is one and then there's also an identical box and on it they've written we ran out of foot long subs sorry which is funny so I think I've got two six inch ones which I'm not complaining about to be fair I feel like you probably end up with more things that way don't know if there's any logic behind that but this is what it looks like oh my goodness can't see any aioli at the moment but otherwise I feel like they've nailed it I also got it on the tiger bread sub which is fairly new I think for Subway not had it before so tiger bread is my favorite bread i feel like this sandwich is just going to be my favorite sandwich ever if i read you guys back what i ordered i feel like it's a very different experience doing subway online rather than in person when you can see them make it and you can like point at things to be fair i feel like with a mask that whole experience might be a little bit difficult anyway so it's quite nice to have it like organized online and you just pick what toppings you want Although I am the kind of person that when someone's making my subway, if they don't put enough of a certain thing on it, I will be like, can I have some more of that please? So you obviously can't do that when you're online. I got the footlong TLC, which was on tiger bread. I had it toasted with the vegan cheese. And then in terms of my salad toppings, I got lettuce, spinach, cucumber, pickles, mixed peppers, red onions, jalapenos, sweet corn, and crispy onions. And I got that with the garlic aioli. Sounds incredible. Let me know what your guys' go-to Subway order is. I definitely normally load up on the salad. I feel like when that's like a free part, although I guess you are paying for it, but when there's like the option to load up something with salad, I will take it. So I always go for a lot of salad. Don't go for tomatoes because they're too wet and gross and slippery. Don't go for olives because I feel like they are literally the devil food. But otherwise, I pretty much load up on all the salad bits. And I'm so ready to try this. This is what it looks like. They've definitely loaded up with the veg, although it does look a little bit dry. I feel like maybe I should have gone for double mayo. They give you two sauce options on Just Eat. And I was like, well, I'm just going to go for one 
but in hindsight maybe I should have just gone for the garlic aioli twice oh my goodness that is good I feel like subways are definitely one of the messiest things to eat but that is so good first of all the bread doesn't really taste like tiger bread in my opinion I feel like it just tastes like a standard white roll which I'm not really complaining about the chicken I'm gonna try some of it on its own I mean, you can definitely taste it in the sandwich and it tastes really nice. I'll show you guys some close-ups of what it looks like on the inside. I guess that is definitely the perk of having like the two separate six inch subs rather than one foot long because this one is now destroyed. But I'll show some close-ups of the second sandwich so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. But the chicken definitely looks quite real. That's incredible. I feel like that's some of the best vegan chicken I've had. That is so good. I'm not 100% sure from like a realistic standpoint how realistic it is. I feel like I say this when I try a lot of like vegan alternatives. It has been a long time since I've eaten like the real things of these foods. I've not had real chicken in, I don't know, coming up to 20 years, I think. So definitely can't remember what real chicken tastes like, but this tastes incredible. The texture is really good. It's got really nice flavor. I feel like when I looked up online, they said that they season the chicken with like the same flavors that they do the normal chicken. So it definitely has a really nice taste to it. If you guys have tried this, definitely let me know what you think. If you've tried chicken or you eat chicken at the moment and you've tried this vegan one, let me know how realistic you think it is. I mean, in my opinion, for how I imagine chicken tasting like and the texture of chicken, this definitely hits the spot. I am literally so impressed with this. I feel like the only thing letting it down is the lack of mayo because the cheese, the chicken, the toasted bread, I always go for toasted bread as well. With all of the other bits going on, it's just amazing. Like mayo would just take it to the next level. I'd also be curious to know like the nutritional value of the chicken. I might look it up because like as a lunch on the go, I feel like this could be a really good option. Loads of salad. I mean, like a sandwich isn't really an unhealthy option. So I'm curious to know if the chicken itself has like protein in. Okay, yeah. So in terms of protein, it has 21 grams per six inch sub, which is about the same as the Italian BMT. The just standard chicken one that they do has 25 grams. So it's pretty similar in terms of the vegan nutrition and the non-vegan nutrition. In terms of fat, it has five grams compared to 3.6 grams that the roasted chicken breast has from Subway. And then it almost has double the amount of fiber. So nine point something versus four point something for the real chicken. So overall, I feel like nutrition wise, it's really good. And I feel like if you're on the go, you need something quick, you need like a fast food option, this would definitely be a good one if you're looking for something fairly healthy and also pretty cheap. I can't find the full ingredients list online, but I think it's soy based. So if you have an allergy to soy, that is something to bear in mind. I'm not sure if it's got wheat in. I know that a lot of vegan meat alternatives do have gluten in, so can't find that online at the moment. If any of you guys know, definitely let me know in a comment below. But overall, I am very, very impressed with that. I would give it like a solid nine and a half out of 10. Would definitely buy it again. I am now gonna move on to trying one of the cookies, which again, I'm just very excited about. I feel like I overuse that word on my channel in general, but today I feel like this is definitely something I'm allowed to be excited about. So this is what the cookie looks like. It is a double chocolate chip cookie, which is my personal favourite. I do have a really good recipe for this, which I will leave a link to in the description. The recipe is like fail safe. I've done it a million times. It always turns out great. And I do feel like those cookies are quite similar to the Subway ones. But I'm going to give this a go and see what it tastes like. I can't deal. Subway literally wins Veganuary this year. Actually, if you guys have seen any supermarket or fast food veganuary releases that you'd like me to try, definitely let me know that in a comment below as well. These are amazing. They have like that Subway cookie taste, if that makes any sense. Like they don't taste like homemade cookies, but in a really good way. It's like a certain chocolate flavor. I don't know how to describe it. If you guys know what I mean, let me know. But they taste really good. They're like my favorite type of cookie where they're like slightly crunchy on the outside, really soft in the middle. I feel like these heated up in the microwave with some ice cream would be an incredible dessert. I'm so glad I bought three. To be honest, I wish I'd bought more than three because I'm going to get through these so quickly. Again, I feel like I would give that a solid nine and a half out of ten. I mean, to be honest, I feel like both of them deserve a ten out of ten. I really have no faults other than the lack of garlic mayo on the sub, but that's not really like their fault. I just should have asked for more. So overall, 
very very successful taste test this has made me very excited for the other things i've got to try this month i feel like every year when january rolls around the vegan options are just getting better and better and i'm so happy about it so that has been my subway taste test i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you've tried it and what your thoughts were or any other vegan things that you want me to try this month thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye oh my god i am such an idiot i've just opened the second six inch sub box and there's a whole pot of garlic aioli in here so I take back all of my complaints. I should have just opened both the boxes. That was my bad.